My name is Juan and I want to welcome you back to my channel where I share with you my journey of learning how to oil paint. In today's video, I will be finishing up the last portrait from that batch of blockings that I did a while back. Moving forward, I may be changing my process up a bit, but we'll talk more about that when the time comes. Today's portrait is of the very beautiful Amelia Clark. I had a lot of fun painting this one and I really hope that you like the finished product. So without any further ado, let's get into it. As always, here is the abridged block in process. If you'd like to see the entire video, you can click the card at the top of the screen. With this block in, I managed to finish it in a relatively short amount of time. I think it only took me about four hours. And so it was a very simple one to get through. And I was hoping that I'd be able to have the same luck with it when I was finishing it here. Unfortunately, I ended up having to take two separate days to finish this final painting. Just like with my last few paintings, the only changes that I really had to make with this one was to the color and the values of the paint. When I blocked it in, I ended up making it a little bit too green in some parts and a little bit too brown in others. And so I had to correct that by making it a little bit more pink in some places and then a little bit more orange in some places. The work flowed smoothly and fairly easily here in the beginning. I didn't really struggle with it. It was just really more about working the paint until I got the results I wanted, but it ended up taking me a little bit longer than I would have liked. As you probably guessed, here I am working with the Zorn palette yet again. I've been working with it for about a month. I'm not really sure how long it's been, but it's been about that long. But I really started to get the hang of this palette and it's definitely helped me a lot in painting portraits. After this portrait, I'm probably gonna end up taking a little bit of a break from painting portraits because as I've said in a few of my past videos, I've really started to get worn out and I just seem to get really frustrated fairly quickly when it comes to painting portraits. And it's definitely not helped my painting because I tend to get lazy and just want to finish a painting even though I should work on it more. But because of how frustrated it makes me, I just want to be done with it. Luckily with this one, this was not the case. The work flowed smoothly as I said, and I was getting the results I wanted, so this one was a relatively fun one to paint. One thing I will say about this one though that I wish I would have done differently was to use thicker paint. With the block in, the paint I had put down was pretty thin, as you probably saw. Some of the grid marks from the pencil drawing were visible through the block in. And so I ended up having to paint over that just to make sure that they were hidden. And even though I intended to uh, lay down a thicker coat of paint in this final stage, I still ended up with thinner paint. And so it was a little bit of a struggle with trying to hide those lines. As you can see in the hair, 
I first laid down a little layer of paint over those lines so that I could cover them up as I continued to work with the hair. That's one thing I really need to work on is my application of the paint. I'm always just afraid of wasting paint and so I end up setting out very little paint on the palette and then using very little paint on the canvas. But that's something I really need to get over. I need to use more paint. Other than that, I really enjoyed painting this one and I'm really happy with how it came out. I mean, it is Amelia Clark after all. And there you have it. I absolutely love the way that this one came out. And I am very happy with the progress that I have made up to this point. As always, if you have any advice or suggestions, please be sure to let me know. That's all I have for now, so I will see you next time. Have a good one.